I think the biggest thing that I love about Cambridge is that ours is a city that is constantly looking for ways to be better. We're a progressive city. I've traveled across our country. Uh, I went to college out of state. I've seen other parts of the world and I've interacted with people who have very different viewpoints. And I always come back to Cambridge saying, thank God I was raised in the city. Being an immigrant in Cambridge was always great. Having been able to come to a community that was welcoming in 1995 was exciting. One of the things that I'm really proud about with Cambridge is we have all of these really awesome programs. We have adult classes uh, that teach English and they're all for free. You know, my mother and a bunch of other of her friends and other Ethiopians in the community and other immigrants took advantage of these programs and they still do. That's, that's what Cambridge is. You know, not a lot of cities have those offerings for free. Despite our relative prosperity as a city, we still have some issues in Cambridge. 13% of our families with children live in poverty. 78% of our working families struggle to pay their rent. We have about 500 people who are chronically homeless in our city. I find that to be unacceptable. 30% of Cambridge Housing Authority residents lack access to the internet because it's too expensive. I find that to be unacceptable. We have an underbelly of issues in our city that we are not addressing. And that concerns me because as we move forward, I feel that we are leaving some people and some neighborhoods behind, including immigrants and low-income working families who don't have the time to participate in some of these meetings. And if you're not in the room, you need someone in the room advocating for you. My mother did her best to ensure that we would still retain our Ethiopian values. And one of the things that she instilled in me at a young age was service to others before self. And that is my guiding principle to this day. Understanding that should I have the opportunity, the privilege to serve the people of Cambridge and City Council, it's not about me. It's about the needs of our city outweighing the individual needs of myself. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing. And, and that's why I want to serve the people of Cambridge.